So I already bought my tickets for the Eco Line bus um, and I'm just gonna go in and have them print it. And then I'll show you guys where to look at the bus details for when your bus will arrive and where to pick it up. So this is the best way to get from, from Riga to Tallinn via bus. So this is where you pick up your bus when it arrives. There's a bunch of different kinds of lines like Eagle Lines and Luxury Lines, but this is the International Bus Station. They have lockers in the terminal if you need them. They also have a giant bus schedule in case you miss yours. Make sure that you're not bringing it too much on the bus or you could get a fee. Once you go to the bus, make sure to have your ticket available so that they will take your luggage in the back. There isn't much room to put your luggage in the actual bus itself, but make sure you have your passport because border control does come onto the bus and checks everybody's passport. It was about a four hour ride into Tallinn, Estonia, then headed over to my hotel, the Hotel Palace or Palace Hotel. It was raining quite a bit, so I just scurried on inside and the check-in was pretty seamless. They do ask for your COVID card and your passport, as well as a credit card for incidentals. Okay, just arrived at the hotel. This is the Palace Hotel and it's one of the nicest hotels in Riga. Wow. So there's the room and then Old Town is right over there. So close. Hey, got some water in here, a TV. The bathroom is always fun. Oh my gosh, look at all the marble. OMG, the shower is finally huge. You don't find these very often in Europe. The big showers. I'm in heaven. After a quick freshen up, it was time to go grab some grub. So I'm very short on time because the bus took about 45 minutes longer than we were planning on. So now I am running over to Old Hansa, which is a medieval type restaurant where they use recipes from 700 years ago and they prepare it in the same way. Obviously with some uh, sanitary updates, but I am very excited to eat here. If you ask any local where an authentic place to eat Estonian food would be, they always say Old Hansa. All right, I just arrived at Old Hansa and this is a restaurant in the theme of a 15th century style pub. They have the recipes like I was mentioning that are from the 15th century, over 500 years old, and it's from the Hanseatic era. So um, a lot of what you'll see on the menu is exactly what you would see during that time. They've got servants that are dressed in the same type of garb that they would have worn back then. There were even minstrels playing up on a platform when I arrived with a little uh, flute and I don't know what they would call it in that era, but like a, uh, it was like a guitar, like a 15th century guitar. There are a lot of murals on the walls in the same style that they would have been painted back in the day. And everything that you feel, see, sense, or taste is going to remind you of that era. So it really makes you dive deep into the history, pun intended. Let's actually dive into our meal now. So you can see even the silverware is all handmade just like the furniture and the cups and everything and it's to pay homage to the local craftsmen that were that would produce this type of stuff. This restaurant is actually housed in an old merchant's home right in the center of Old Town. 
the experience just when you walk into the place it is an overwhelming sensation of walking through a time portal back into the medieval ages little did i know how ruckus and riotous our evening would get like this then you turn your hand like this you put the cup on top of your pinky like this and you seal it with the thumb so you, it's kind of a little ha handle oh. then the other hand goes on top of your head because it's a strong shaft and you don't want your brain to go flying <laughs> <laughs> then we have to test your voice as well so we say as loud as we can we say Viva! and we drink it with one shot Okay. <laughs> I, I Here we them. go. Viva! Viva! I shot a Viva and that is pepper in it. Yes. There's definitely the pepper in it. It's a lot. But Ooh. you can feel the way it burns and kills all the bacteria. <laughs> Believe me. The pepper schnapps, it will kill, kill the plague apparently. And uh... <laughs> Definitely feel the pepper going down. It burns, baby burn. Word to the wise, it's not this shot, this pepper schnapps shot is not one shot. Do you see how big this sucker is? It's handmade, but it's like two shots in one thing. And I, I don't really drink that often, so... You know, definitely feeling this, and I am a complete believer now that it's going to cure any kind of plague that I may have gotten on the way over here, or when I'm walking around Old Town, so I'll be able to go home after this, you know, no, no disease that shall not be named for me. What does this do? It puts freaking hair on your chest. I'm telling you. Pepper schnapps. Dangerous. Now I'm just repeating myself so you know. This dinner's gonna go really well. I'm glad I wasn't the only victim of this place though. My friends Erin, Shirley, David, and Tippy came along for the wild ride with me. This is sauerkraut over here. Uh, Salted cheesecake. Here we have spelted saffron and marinated garlic, wild berry jam, and a cucumber in the middle. Thank you. And mushroom sauce, as you see, and on, and the top is red wine sauce. Okay. And here we have uh, elk, and uh, there's two different kind of deers. One is the red deer, and the other one is okay, <laughs> like Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> You're so great. Okay, it's kind of hard to see your plate, but. I have the elk and mushroom sauce, like she was explaining. There's some saffron in here and grains. You won't find potatoes because they hadn't come over to the area yet. Oh my gosh. Seriously, the spices are incredible. And the way that the meats just kind of melt in your mouth. So, so good. Then it was on to some sweet temptations to celebrate my birthday. This is a rose water pudding. That was so delicious. So this is Monk's Bride and it was um, a drink that was used by or made by the monks to help keep them warm. It's really like a Christmas drink. It's like liquid gingerbread. It was dessert after dessert with my fabulous friends, one of whom is a vegetarian and had plenty of options to choose from. Our night ended with a little flute serenade.
It was then back to the hotel through the medieval streets for some much needed rest. Gotta try this hypoallergenic buckwheat seed something pill. Oh, yeah. And she said, oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend because more the merrier. Make sure to stay tuned for the next one in the series Through the Baltics, where I'm going to take you through the old town of Tallinn and all its unique secrets.